Hi, I'm Dr. David Matlock, and what I would like to do is talk to you a little bit about our female genital plastic surgery. I am one of the original pioneers of female genital plastic surgery. To date, I have treated patients from all 50 states and over 70 countries. I have trained over 435 surgeons, gynecologists, plastic surgeons, and urologists in over uh, 46 countries. Uh, these are outpatient surgical procedures, in and out the same day, walk in, walk out, your choice of anesthesia, 98% of the patients want to have general. Unfortunately, Instagram doesn't allow us to show you an actual patient for these female genital plastic surgical procedures. The primary procedure that patients want is our laser vaginal rejuvenation for the enhancement of sexual gratification, where we are reconstructing everything internally and externally. The other procedure that patients want is our laser reduction labioplasty with reduction of excess preptus, which basically means they don't like the length of the labia minora. And the majority of those patients don't want the labia minora, the small inner lips, projecting beyond the labia majora, the large outer lips, they want it back within here. So again, we're gonna show you this on a silicone, silicone model. So it's a model, 100% silicone model, all right? So in, we're here in my surgical center, we have a Medicare certified surgical center, 5,000 square feet, three operating rooms, six bed recovery, three pre-op rooms. Uh, Medicare certification is the highest certification. Hospitals are Medicare certified. So what we do initially for this, in the procedure, I'm gonna explain it to you, and understand that 30 million American women suffer from symptoms of vaginal relaxation as a result of having children. Okay, some of the symptoms that they can have is stress urinary incontinence, meaning if they laugh, cough, strain, exercise, they can lose urine. It's socially and hygienically embarrassing to the woman or not and unacceptable. So we can correct that in this particular procedure. Also, we will correct top, bottom, and outside. Some women, if they just had one child or so forth, they may just need the bottom corrected, and I'll show you that. So if we look at the pelvic model, here is the uterus, fallopian tubes, ovaries. Here is the bladder, urethra, where we urinate through. Here is the top of the vagina that we work on, the bottom of the vagina that we work on, and outside, anterior, posterior, and the perineum. The perineum is the area immediately outside the vagina and above the anus. So we're gonna correct everything. And a lot of women, we ask, how tight do you wanna be? Women will say throughout the world, I wanna be like 16 again. We have a lot of happy women throughout the world, and we can do that. Sexual gratification is directly related to the amount of frictional forces generated. So basically, the first thing that I will do is that I will give a pudendal block. You go to the dentist, you get an injection, you're numb for maybe two hours, three hours, but when I do this pudendal block, I'm blocking the pudendal nerve, everything inside is blocked, and everything outside is blocked, everything is numb. It'll be numb for 18 to 24 hours. Afterwards, we give the patients pain medications, we give them Percocet, we give them a rectal suppository, a pure lidocaine, because the majority of all the discomfort is here in the perineum. If we look at the anatomy, here's the labia minora, okay, small inner lips, labia majora, large outer lips, perineum, okay, the area immediately outside the vagina and above the anus, all right. And then we have, here's the clitoris, and we can have excess here when we're talking about reducing the labia, but under straight laser vaginal rejuvenation for, for enhancement of sexual gratification. They have the pedendal block, we will place. So in the room, what you're gonna see, you'll have the anesthesiologist, you'll have the circulating nurse, you'll have a, an assistant with me, and the scrub tech, who's gonna hand me all the instruments. So the first thing that I will do, and actually, I will have a headlamp on. First thing that I will do is that I'm gonna take, and here's the laser, all right? The laser, is, it's a nice, Point, a nice point is it's the difference between writing your name with a fine Mont Blanc instrument, okay, pen, as opposed to the kitchen knife, right? So it's, it's nice, neat, precise, and the techniques that we use, we get a relatively bloodless procedure, okay? That's the laser here, all right? So then I'm going to, I place this blue retractor, and we have skin hooks. Now remember, 98% of the patients want to be asleep. So just think of them being asleep. You place these skin hooks. This is silicone, so it doesn't really represent, you know, obviously, the human body well, but we place these hooks. A lot of women ask me, how do you operate in there? 
Well, I'm a pelvic surgeon. Okay, so this is, get an idea of how we're gonna operate here. We place these hooks. Okay, then we're gonna use a retractor. I put what we call a tumescent solution with uh, top, bottom, okay, so that we have a bloodless field. We will use instruments such as a, uh, uh, this ribbon, this malleable, okay. I will infiltrate everything internally, all right, top, bottom, outside. So then when I get ready to work, I will have a tenaculum, which is an instrument that I use to grab the cervix and hold the cervix. Then I will take, this is a tenaculum. We grab the cervix, we hold the cervix. So imagine that, okay? Then I'm going to take the laser. I will make a little incision. If this is the cervix right above it, because I have to open the mucosa. The mucosa is the lining of the vagina. Inside the mouth is a mucous membrane. You bite down, feel those muscles. Those are the muscles of mastication or chewing. If I want to get to those muscles, open up the membrane and I see the muscles. So what we're trying to do and what the problem is, is if you look at the muscles of the top, bottom, and outside of the vagina, here's how the muscles should be. Here's your thighs, right and left side, okay? It should be nice, tight, and supported. But how they are, as a result of children, they're pulled apart. They're pulled apart top, bottom, and outside. They're pulled apart top, bottom, and outside. Okay, so that's why you don't have the strength. That's why you have relaxation. That's why you have the bladder falling down, the bladder falling down, the rectum herniating up, the introitus gaping gap apart, a poor perineal body support. So we're going to reconstruct all of that. So I will take the laser. I will open up the mucosa so I can get to these muscles. It's really fast, but get to the muscles. And I'm going to bring, look, I'm going to bring them back together all the way in, all the way out. I will support also this, what we call the urethral vesicle angle right here. That's why you have this stress. And I'm going to support the entire urethra because if you look at this as the bladder and urethra, how should it be on the top here? Support it. How is it when you have the child, you have multiple children, it's pulled apart, muscles are pulled apart, and it drops. You laugh, cough, strain, exercise. It drops and you lose urine. I'm going to reconstruct it, rejuvenate it, so you don't have that problem. And it's 96% effective in stopping that problem. Okay, so then I'm going to, after I have everything repaired, and also the, um, the bladder, okay, by bringing the muscles back together, tightening the muscles, and you have that good support. Any of that excess mucosa, okay, that excess, I'm going to resect along the edge. It doesn't make sense to have all that excess skin or mucosa, so I'm going to resect that along the edge. Then I'll do a nice plastic suture closure with uh, absorbable sutures and nothing to remove. So when we have this, okay, See, if you look in, you can see. Now, again, this isn't to scale or whatever. You look in, you can see, and then I can operate and have sutures, all right, and then I will operate like this. That's how I'm operating. People say, well, how do you operate there? Well, I'm a pelvic surgeon, okay? This is how I would operate, and how you would take, suture everything, all right, the muscles back together top, Okay, reset, take the laser, reset all the excess mucosa. Then I will go and I will suture, okay? And then it, I, it's a running stitch in the mucosa or in the skin, all the way out, tidy in, and that's it. Now the top is completely reconstructed. Then what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go down below. First, what I have to do is that I have to remove this, any excess skin of the perineum so I can get to these superficial and deep transverse perinei muscles. Those muscles also are pulled apart when you have kids, okay? So I'm gonna open this, then I'm going to take the Metzen bombs, all right, this, okay, the Metzen bombs here, and I'm gonna go under the mucosa, okay? Then I'll take the laser and I open it. I go all the way back in the back to about 1.5 centimeters, okay? A little over, let's say about it, less than an inch, okay? to the posterior cervical lip. Here's the cervix, the top, the bottom, anterior, posterior lip. I go all the way there. I bring these important muscles back together. They're called the levator ani muscles. That's the big pelvic floor muscles. I'm gonna use, use the um, a, a suture, okay? It's vicral. It is an absorbable suture, 
But I mean, if you hold it, I hold it, we can't break it. So I'm gonna bring those muscles back together, okay? And then I will tie. I will go and I will tie, all right? Plicate the muscles, bring them all the way back together, all the way in, all the way out. Any excess mucosa I'm gonna take, and we have these alices holding the ends of the mucosa. And then I will resect it along the edge, okay? Then I'm gonna take a, um, I'm gonna go, now the muscles are all nice and tight. Now the excess mucosa is resected. Then I'm gonna take the uh, vicro. It's called a foro vicro. It's thin, and then I'm gonna close the mucosa, okay? All the way in, all the way out. Now everything is corrected. Top, okay, everything top is corrected. Bottom is corrected. Now I'm gonna do a five-layer closure in the perineum to re-support uh, this perineal body. Okay, that, that you need a lot of support there. That takes a toll as well in deliveries. And a lot of women have had an episiotomy. So after the block wears off, actually, what it feels like is like you had an episiotomy. The pain medications that take care of it, all right? You can return to work, say, in a week. But no exercise, no sex for six weeks. We need everything to heal, all right? So then I, I'll do a five-layer closure here. Then everything is done. Then what we want to see at the end what we will see, women say, oh, I'm gaping apart. But what we will see is that the labia minora will come back together in the midline, like this, okay, like this. The labia majora will come back together in the midline, like this, and I'll build up the perineal body, okay? Again, women say, I wanna be like 16 again, 18 again, or as if I never had children. So we can do that. You know, we want to empower women with knowledge, choice, and alternatives, and we want you to participate in your design of what you want. You know yourself, you know what you want, we want to fulfill that. That's our laser vaginal rejuvenation.